Yo, so check this out. It's a principle I used to use when I was in the Marine Corps that I still use that I think has brought me considerable power um, just as a warrior, as a security agent, as all those things. Um, the reality of the game is if you're doing something, it's kind of funny because combat principles transition directly, I feel like, over into life principles, you know? So for me to say that I am training for a day that I meet my enemy on a field of battle, uh, that every day I go to the gym or I subject myself and submit to learning under a sensei, under a coach, under a book, under a teacher, a pastor. Every day that I do that, maybe we can do a little of this and that real quick. What's up, guys? Um, I am uh, getting myself prepared to be a little stronger, a little smarter, a little faster, right? For the day that I meet my enemy on the battlefield, if I'm honored with combat, combat being an opportunity to show your character, for your metal to be tested, that means your metal being tested when you catch swords with the enemy out in the battle of life, will your metal break? Will your sword break? Will your character shatter? Will you not be able to hold up under the rigors and the stress, the strain, the intensity of combat. What is combat? Combat is life. Who's a warrior? Whoever chooses to be. I don't care what your background is. The difference between the doers and the donors, the warriors and the peasants is that the warriors choose to fight and they choose to fight with love at their back. They choose to fight for their own potential first and foremost because they know that by unlocking their own potential they can serve themselves and their loved ones on the and their loved ones and their god on a higher level being a warrior is the ultimate act of service because you're willing to sacrifice your life no greater love than this for people who are depending on you who have either chosen you or have been selected by fate for you to be their champion. And so you subject yourself to this rigorous lifestyle of chasing your own potential. And from the outside looking in to the unaware, understudied, and to the person who hasn't, who doesn't really understand your heart and also is not on the path, you look like you're self-serving. But from a sufficient distance, and if you're given enough time to manifest your goals, the journey should purify your character by the grace of God so that people can see that your ultimate contribution serves everyone on a higher level than you ever could have if you didn't have the time, patience, opportunity, and character and grace of God to chase self-improvement. I hope this is all making sense. <laughs> and so the principle that I used to always think about when I was going to war at age 18, when I knew 19, when I knew I'm going to go to war and I'm very probably going to meet another man who has been training to kill me and who has lived to kill me and is living now in this moment to be enough to be strong enough to kill me. He's gonna do everything he can to kill me. I need, by the grace of God, to be enough to win that fight and kill him instead. I need to be a good steward to do my part so that I can give God enough to work with, so that I can be worthy you know, um, so that, you know, if David had never picked up the stones, could he have killed Goliath? 
you know? If Samson, if Samson had never chose to push those pillars and said that prayer, could he have conquered in the end? You know what I mean? You won't see a man of God in the Bible that doesn't need discipline and need to choose to sacrifice and need to choose to fight the righteous battle that he was given and fated to fight, you know? So you have to work on yourself unless after all of this that you've done, you yourself is disqualified, right? So what I say is I knew there was a man who was training to kill me and I trained to try to be able to kill him. But then I find you find yourself as a warrior outside of the realm of physical combat and in this life where we have veterans killing themselves daily, a few dozen, arguably, and you quickly realize that I'm taking more casualties to my platoon out here than I ever was when I was there. So this is a combat zone as far as I'm concerned. Just the weapons of our warfare have changed. And so I see now that anyone's a warrior who chooses to fight their fight who chooses to try and unlock their potential. It's not so much, for me as a security professional, I'm still training for a man who may one day try to kill me and my client. But it's more than that now. I'm training to beat my clone daily. Can I defeat the former version of myself from just 24 hours ago in battle now, today? I got that from Tom Kyer. Legit, dude, look him up. Coming up on the podcast. Can I kill my clone at the end of the day? Did I get stronger? Did I get faster? If my enemy kills me in battle and I know that I lived a life where I continually could beat my clone and I die valiantly, then this is, this is a good death. But I fight every single day. I train myself every single day to bring my potential out. That is the point and that is the good fight. The war is life now. Your enemy is you, weaker versions of yourself. And this is what we're training daily to try to overcome, to try to be better so we can serve on a higher level. And some people may think you're selfish. Some people may get their feelings hurt because you don't have time to talk about the weather and their favorite sports team with them and make them feel good. Uh, the people that know that you love them will know that you love them and they will support you in your endeavor and understand the people that get wrapped up around petty bull crap and like aren't your friends because you don't sit and talk with them about like the heater and their daughter's favorite socks and you know pet psychology and stupid crap they watch on television um maybe you've outgrown those people and the reality of life is nothing lasts forever nothing nothing. The sooner you grab that, the easier it is to move through life. But those who evolve with you, who understand you, who value your changes and see that you're trying to be better, even if sometimes you're doing things that aren't making you better, but you're trying to be better and can love you and stay with you through that, those things, those are the valuable people. But that's not what this is about. Let me close. The reality of this game is the principle that I used to think of when I was in the Marine Corps is that there's a man training to kill me and I need to be good enough to meet him in combat. And for my loved ones, for my countrymen, for everything that I still need to do because I was only 19, I need to win that battle. And if I don't win that battle, I need to die like a man, like a warrior, valiantly. And that's the way I still live my life. Yes, as a security professional, that's still congruent, but I live my life that way on a daily basis because I know my family's counting on me to be the best I can, to do the best I can, to serve the world in the higher, highest way possible and make my highest contribution in order to provide the life, the honor, uh, the grace of God, to worship my God and all those things on the highest levels that I can. And that's what I want you to do. Check out ByronRogersMotivation.com. Meet me at the Protector Symposium at the end of this week. And I look forward, man. I make, make these videos because I love you guys. And I look forward to seeing you there. Boom.